Okay, welcome. So we're gonna type the um, Metro PCS APN settings on this phone, and uh, you're gonna work with any smartphone from T-Mobile, AT&T Unlocked, or Blue and Sky phones. Okay. So you're gonna go to settings, and you're gonna go to more, and then cellular networks, and access point names or APN. Before continue on this one, make sure that preferred network type is LTE on. Okay. Uh, so if you have a LTE speed on your account, uh, uh, so automatically will uh, turn to LTE speed or 4G, depends on your area and location. So make sure that it's on. Okay, so access point name or, AP, or APN, Alpha Peter Nancy, uh, and open it. Okay, um, so right now if you have any, any APN, you can just delete it. Uh, and since you are using a T-Mobile phone, uh, remember that T-Mobile phones uh, work under AP, uh, Metro PCS as well. So you can uh, keep using the T-Mobile APN, but uh, my experience is that, that the APN, T-Mobile APN is kind of slow on uh, video streaming or uh, things like that. So you may need, want to leave it and keep using it. You still be able to access the internet, send picture messages like, like that. Uh, so those are the values fast.tmobile.com uh, APN type default comma SUPL comma MMS and the MMSC is HTTP MMS and uh, dot MSG dot ENG dot .com, slash MMS slash WAPENC uh, proxy state in blank port set in blank MCC is 310 from US, uh, mobile network code is 260 for Metro PCS, uh, leaving blank protocol type IPv6, and then everything else is remain as it is. So just uh, leave the APN as it is if you would like to keep using it. But in this video, I'm gonna show you the Metro PCS, which is um, that's the one that you want to use uh, for better uh, video streaming experience. Okay, so you want on name, you're gonna edit, and you're gonna set the name as Metro PCS. Okay. Uh, capital P, capital C, capital S, like that. Okay, so once you finish type it, just hit OK to save. Uh, APN, you're gonna type the following. You're gonna be fast Metro PCS F A S T fast um, that Metro PCS all lower leg like lowercase Metro PCS and then dot com dot com okay uh, hit ok and then uh, we're gonna leave everything in blank port username password server mmsc we're gonna type msc we're gonna type the following address age ttp uh, column slash slash and then uh, Metro PCS lowercase Metro PCS, I'm sorry Metro PCS and then dot MMS MMS M V N O uh, dot com dot com then slash MMS slash uh, WAP ENC like that, okay? WAPENC, they hit OK to save, leaving blank port proxy. Uh, make sure that a mobile country code is 310. Uh, you can edit, delete any other value, enter 260 MNC, and then uh, APN protocol is IPv4 and everything is remains the same okay you need to you need a hard option to 
have the APN on or off, just make sure that the APN is en enabled or on. And return to APN type and set default, and then um, check MMS and SUPL. Okay. If you need to type it, so type default comma MMS comma Internet or SUPL. Okay. Only those three separate with comma only. Okay. So when you finish, just set OK to save. Uh, go back to the right top corner of the screen with three dots and save the APN. Okay, some other phone you need to go to the plus symbol on the bottom menu and select save. So now you have the Metro PCS on this section selected to activate. So at this point you're gonna see a song 4G LTE appear on the uh, notification bar. If your phone is 4G LTE, if your phone is 4G, you're gonna see only 4G. Okay, so it depends on your phone. And now try access the internet. And if you're still not able to access the internet, uh, power off and on the phone and make sure that data ROM is on uh, go back to settings and data usage and make sure that cellular data is on as well okay uh, so try access to the internet so I'm gonna show you some troubleshoot in case that you're still not able to access the internet uh, go back to cellular network uh, and then network operators so what I'm gonna do here is register your SIM card to a Metro PCS tower directly so once you see on the screen metro pcs touch it and you should be able to see a message at the bottom that says register on network uh, if you don't get you get a message saying that unable to register on network uh, try to run the uh, searching again up to three times see after three times you're still not able to get the positive message uh, but the one that says unable to register your network that means that maybe your sim card slot might, might, might be defective you may need to change that or call metro pcs and timo or timobo and have them verify the IMEI number okay uh, because your IMEI number might be on a blacklisted database when customers report a phone as a lost or they finance the phone but never paid off so uh, companies start blocking the IMEI so even if you put a SIM card you won't be able to make any phone calls no access to the internet uh, so before you spend any money uh, repairing their phone please uh, contact them to verify the IMEI number and they should let you know what you need to do in order to uh, remove your phone from the blacklist okay so once you see the Metro PCS uh, select the Metro PCS 4G and uh, the bottom is register network so that, that will be the positive message that we need to get okay and picture message if you're not able to send picture message uh, have somebody to send you one and then after that try to send if you're still not able to send picture message then uh, take a picture and send it to your own phone number this means the phone number associated with the sim card that you have on your phone right now Okay, send that picture to your own phone number and then you still be able to activate or troubleshoot the picture message settings. Okay, so uh, this is everything. If you have any other questions, uh, I might leave some uh, a link on my description, video description on uh, for T-Mobile APN in case that you would like to use the T-Mobile APN for Metro PCS. But like I said at the beginning of this video, I personally experience kind of a slow uh, video streaming on YouTube so um, uh, for me it's most effective is to use the Metro PCS APN series okay so uh, but I'm gonna leave the link anyways in case that you may just need to review it or something and if I see any other options on proxy or port then I will leave the info on on the description or video message okay so uh, please let me know if you have any other questions and thank you for choosing my video and also visiting my channel thank you